Good. Well, I guess you can't hear me, huh? Hearing. So I did all that singing and you didn't hear a word, did you? Hey, how you doing? How you do it? How you doing? Good morning. Welcome to the morning chat. Well, I tell you what's on my mind in the morning time. I hope you all had a wonderful fun or restful whatever you want to do this weekend i hope you did it okay i got most of my stuff done i didn't get everything done i, I posted uh some chairs that i was selling on facebook and uh was it um ebay to be sold and i haven't heard anything about anyone buying them yet um no messages they're cheap they're thirty dollars they're um a post a poster armchairs uh, now it doesn't look like a couch but it's like it's more like dining room chairs that i posted and it just took me so long because it's been so long since i've sold stuff you know resold you know online um a friend of mine um suggested that I um re I mean post them on Craigslist but I just don't like Craigslist. I'm it's just it's just if there was a slum Craigslist would be it. Um I just realized I got up to get my spoon to stir my coffee and I didn't get it, but nah, whatever. Um, yeah, not whatever. <laughs> okay, this is the first time in a long time since I've had to actually get up to go and get something while on camera, but I'm not stopping. Okay, so, um, cause I gotta get on out of here at 7.50 at least. I'm going to try. But if the conversation gets good, guess what? I'm going to be late. Anyway. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> okay, so that will not happen again. Today, I, I really, again, wanted, wasn't sure if I was going to come to y'all this morning. I wasn't sure if I was going to come to y'all this morning. I really wasn't sure because, one, sleep was good. Two, I just, I, I, I got attacked with fear again this morning. You know, uh, what am I going to do when I'm doing this full time? Come November, November 18th marks the last day of full-time work at my current employer. I don't have no other income coming in. I'm going to be doing this 24-7. Okay? Um, well, not 24-7. I'm not going to do this 24-7, but this is going to be my main job. And I'm like, oh, Lord, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Um, but I'll be able to get into the real tea, okay, later on. But before we go any further, morning announcements. Okay, the morning chat from last Monday is now available on YouTube. Okay, go to According to Akara, um, According to Akara channel or According to Akara podcast on youtube and watch the video from last week if you want to recap um so you want to go there um again i'm selling some things on um facebook youtube um i might try offer up as well I'm going to be selling just some things that I want to go ahead and get rid of before I take it to the Goodwill. If I can give me a couple of pennies off of it, because like I just told you, 
I will not have a main income. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be out here hustling for the money. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm not here to hustle you, but I am out here to get jiggy with it. Na 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 get jiggy with it and get that money, that money on my own. Okay, and work for it to see how much I can do. Well, anyway, so what was on my mind this morning? I had a moment of questioning who I was. And it's going to, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little serious. Um, it was just a lot of questioning. Like, am I? I mean, I know I'm no supermodel, but I question, you know, I never benefited from pretty privilege. So, because I grew up in a time where dark skinned, natural haired girls like myself wasn't considered pretty. I questioned, was I smart? I'm not going to cry on here. Okay. Uh, I feel the water and the emotion trying to gather up in me. But it's not happening. But I question, am I smart? Because I feel like I'm smarter than what people treat me as. You know, I feel like I'm way smarter than what people think. I'm not the average book PhD having person. In a moment of authenticity, I, in elementary school, was in special education. But I never knew what my, why I was supposed to be in special education. Was I a slow reader? Was I, um... Did I not keep up? How, what was it that kept me from being at the level of other kids? Okay. Now, I admit, my reading aloud is trash. Okay. I, I, mm, I was talking to a friend this weekend and I was telling her, like, I tried to read this book, um, that, not 1619 project allowed and i was reading it i was going to read it to you all on camera i was pre-recording my bedtime stories and when i say it's cringe worthy it is cringe worthy i was stumbling over those words like biden going upstairs okay um so I know I'm not the top level reader. Um but I can read and comprehend. It was in my reading comprehension, was in my math in college when I went on to college. I had to take remedial courses before I took the regular courses. It's like, and usually when I take the remedial courses, I was killing the remedial. It's like, why do y'all have me do this? Is there something on my record that says that I'm a doctor? And if someone got what I just said, and you have a person that is specially able, please don't take that as offense. I was trying to be funny. But that's what I actually was talking to. That's exactly what I said 
in my prayer time. Like, what's wrong with me? I don't feel slow, specially abled in the mind and brain area. Um, I don't think I'm not, you know, I, I don't feel like I'm slow. I don't feel like I'm stupid, but I feel like majority of my life, people treated me stupid. Maybe I'm, I, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me, but I did a lot of questioning of myself. And I don't know. Maybe I don't just like, Girl, I know this already. I know what you're talking about. I why are you re-explaining this to me? Like that is gonna make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? On why you need this being. I get what I need to do, but why? Why I have to stack the papers like this as opposed to this? You know what I'm saying? Or what was wrong with what I said? Am I too blunt? And instead of just saying, Carl, you are just too blunt. You know what I'm saying? Or you're too just, you you don't, I don't mince words. I don't use big college words. If you're fat, you're fat. I don't be like, oh, you're curvy. You're pleasantly plump. I don't, I don't mince words like that. You fat. Okay. Either you're fat in a good way or you're fat in a bad way, but you're fat. Okay, if you got a fat butt, you got a fat butt. Okay, now, I, again, like a, I don't think I'm a supermodel by far, even though I, as a kid, I want to do that. Oh, uh, my mom dashed my dreams into the ground. Shout out to my mom because she might have just saved my life. Okay, is that a bit of a uh, uh, drugged out? old model right now you know what i'm saying or dead because i decided you know but at any rate or they just wouldn't have thought i was pretty enough because i was dark skinned and no one wanted to take a gamble on me or my mom just did it because she had five kids and she needed me around the house to help her now my my mom rarely left me with the kids except for to go to the grocery store and stuff like that I didn't have to raise my siblings. Okay, let me make that very much clear. My mom was very much a present person in my life. She was blessed to be able to stay home and raise us. Okay, I didn't always have that. Now, mind you, but by the time I was, you know, in my latter years of elementary on up to forever, she was a stay-at-home mom, you know. So, but I know I'm pretty. My mom was a freaking bombshell. She should have modeled, but she didn't choose that. She chose to get married and have children. You're married twice, you know, but my mom, my mom was a beauty. She was, you never been with a bad age. My mom was a baddie, okay? Um, and if she was born in this day and time, okay, and I just don't feel like I got that from my father is handsome. My mom was a baddie, but I just don't see that I have that, you know, I, I don't have my mom's gorgeous looks. I mean, and I don't have any picture right now to show you of her, but my mom was beautiful, you know. And even in her older age, she was beautiful. You know, um, she gained weight, you know, just like you would, but she was still pretty, you know, in the face. Her feet was uh, Wilma Flintstones, but that's a topic for another day. This woman snagged two men who wanted to put a ring on. And I ain't even got one to say, would you marry me? 
Okay, seriously, like they got the ring, they got on one knee and asked me to marry them. Not one. Not one. Like, what is it about me that no one wants to do? So I did a lot of questioning of myself. Like, what's up? And why? And no one has ever said, Akario, you're really, really, really good at your work. And I feel like they meant it. And it's like, I feel like you need to be advanced to the next level. Let me help you get there. You know what I'm saying? It seems like every employer wants to keep me here. No one wants to get me to advance. We're going to keep you at me. You're good in the foul room, boo boo. What makes you think that I couldn't be a paralegal when I got my degree as a paralegal? Well, yeah, it was at a community college, but who gives a crap? No one wanted to mentor me, and I just felt so alone and just not knowing the devil, the enemy, or just my unresolved inner me just really attacked heavy this morning. And it's like, I mean, and it's just like, you know, I just thank God that he's going to, I want to know what really, what do you see? When you see me, what do you see? Do you see a bubbling idiot here on this channel? So y'all answer, give me the comments. Go ahead and give it to me, and I want the truth. Am I just a fat, funny chick? Am I that loving mother? Come on in here, baby. Let me put you to my bosom. Do you see Mamie here with me? Seriously. Do you see an intelligent, capable black woman power to the people? Or do you see a do 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 in other words, I said a little slow, especially able woman that's trying to make it on her own. You know, what do you see? Honestly, I want the truth. So this is the opportunity I'm engaging with you. Now, I'm not going to me. Now, so let me, let me clarify this, though, because I don't want y'all thinking that I just feel like I'm a ish. Okay, to me, when I look in the mirror, I see the baddest bitch in the land. Okay, well, maybe, no, let me be honest with you. I see the bad bitch. I see a beautiful woman. Okay, who have an awesome smile and them dimples. Deep enough you can drink a, some some coffee out of, but don't put no coffee in there because you'll burn my skin. But, you know, not hot coffee, maybe iced coffee. <laughs> I see, um, I believe, I see myself as a funny, intelligent, friendly, welcoming at times. But I do know I have, I do have that don't F with me look like I'm busy, I'm I'm focused, you know. I do have a resting bitch face. Um, I don't like using her a lot, but it's a. That's my resting bitch face. I can see mean, but I really am not. I am not mean at all. Now, I'm going to be straight with you. The closer you get to me, the straighter I am with you. Okay? I, the more, like, the truth of the matter is, unless I know you're a sensitive person like my son. Like, there, I'm going to still tell him, but I'm not going to be like, nigga, you not all that. You know what I'm saying? I think um, that's what I see. And I'm judgmental. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm telling you the truth. I be judging everybody, you know. But I'm also, I'm not condemning them because I know I have my flaws. But I think that I'm a reasonably kind, giving person when you get to, when I get to know you and I feel trust, like, I want to give this person something. I want to improve their life. I want to bless their life. When I'm being moved by the Holy Spirit, oh, ain't nothing like, ooh, child, it is nothing like 
coming through and and blessing somebody with something they need right in the nick of time oh man let me tell you something ain't nothing that makes my more day i mean make my day more not even receiving the blessing i don't like receiving the well i do like receiving good things gifts and help i do like it but it ain't nothing like being in a position where you're the one helping you know what i'm saying and it's just it's just Ooh, you're talking about it lights me up more than talking about astrology and the Bible at the same daggone time. Okay. Um, and you're like, oh, you talk about astrology and the Bible. I do. Okay, don't come for me. Pray for me. I know it's it's the oxymoron to talk about Jesus and Capricorn. Okay. You know, um, but those are some subjects that really just light my fire. Okay. But I see someone that's really intelligent, and I think that if you really gave me a chance and really got to know me, I got a lot of jewels and nuggets to give you all. I'm a 50-year-old woman who experienced some things, and I've learned some things. And one of the things I know is what I experienced this morning, that too shall pass. Because you've never been with a buddy, <laughs> okay? I might not be on here Posed with half naked because you know, you know, I'm not really proud of my curves. I'm sorry. I, I should be. Oh, I, I body shame myself. You can probably get on me for body shaming myself, but I, I ain't liking all the the curves and the dips and the waves of my body. I like to have a flat stomach. I like to see my 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 six pack. I ain't never seen my six pack. It's always been a gallon. Okay. Well, I mean, I haven't always been fat. But I sure enough ain't never seen a six pack, okay, except for a soda on the shelves at the stuff, okay. So, yeah, that part. So, yeah, I know that. So, I got a lot to give, a lot of knowledge if you listen. Now, I might not say it in a way and, 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 and funny little quips like Jennifer Lewis. Because if you really listen to it, I overthink a lot. If you really, I said that like I was talking to somebody here. No, I just heard some noise and I was being nosy. <laughs> anyway, um, and when you listen to it, it's like, what? Just like I did a reel a couple of months ago where she said, <laughs> I... I've given up, but I ain't never quit. Okay, well, maybe this is where my slowness comes in. Because it isn't giving up quitting. Now, I can see her saying that I've, re I've, I've never quit, but I've sat down and rested a little bit and regrouped. You know, maybe that's what she meant. I've given up. I was like, wait a minute, hold on. Let me pause for a second and gather myself and get my mind right. And I kept down that trail. And I think that's what she was trying to say. But it sounded real cute and funny. And it's like, I ain't never been. I, keep, I can't get that song out of my head. Girl, Draymond. That was a hot song, girl. And I pray for your success. I need you to do a whole album, girl. I follow her. I don't know if she follows me, but I love that little I love that little beautiful dark skinned girl. Uh, if that is the pronoun that you use. I'm into respecting your pronouns. Okay. I I really do. I, I I mean, sometimes my old lady kicks in, my older person kicks in. Well, I gotta figure out which pronoun this person is. We when she look like a girl, I'm going to call her a girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm also into respecting what you want to call yourself. Okay? And some of these people that don't look like girls want to be considered girls, so girl. <laughs> okay? Um, and yeah, do I judge? Some people it's like, okay, you're a girl. If you want to be a if you think you're Superman, you are Superman. Okay. Okay. And if you think you fly, 
If you're going to go up to the top of the house and jump off like you can fly, well, guess what mama going to do? She's going to put that blow-up mattress, that big thing that the firefighters use at the bottom so that in case you, your flying skills haven't kicked in yet, you, you fall on something nice. That's me. Sometimes. But in my heart, I was like, nigga, you... <laughs> Have you taken your medicine, baby? That, that's what I'm thinking. Did you take your medicine? Mm. No, I can tell. You know what I'm <laughs> I know it sounds so cold, but you know, I mean, sometimes I'm just really cold. Blame it on my Gemini rising, okay? My Sagittarius placements in me, they're from cold-blooded people, and their hearts be in the right place. They just be stating the obvious. They're saying what no one else is going to say. Okay? So y'all can hate, I mean, like, I don't hate Trump. I'm not a supporter of him being our president. But I don't hate him. Because I understand him. He be just saying what's on his mind. And he has zero filters. Okay? But back to me. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just like, I did a lot of questioning of who I am. What does the world see me at? I'm, I just, I'm curious on what y'all think. What do y'all see? Because I don't see if it's anything aside from a beautiful, intelligent black woman that's doing it for herself, that made it, that make things happen, who got a ton of black magic, AKA melanin. Okay. I make shit happen. Trust me. Okay. God has blessed me with wisdom. He's constantly on my side, whispering in my ear how to make things happen. Because I'm not doing it by myself, by the way. You know, you might think, oh, she's so smart, blah, blah, blah. No. Any intelligence and good that you've seen in me, you have seen God in me, shining through me, being smart. Okay. But. That's what I see. I see, I might think a little higher of myself because my mom and my parents, my parents never said that I was anything less than beautiful and, and smart. Okay? They never said that I was a dumb dumb. Never. I don't recall my mom saying that I was stupid. Okay? She might not have understood my thinking and we might have disagreed on some decisions I made only for me to find out she was right, you know. But I'm one that needs to learn from experience. And thank God that learning from experience hasn't killed me. I've been in there and I know how things happen. And people don't really uh, appreciate people who, who study patterns. Like, mm. I see that happen. Oh, my neighbor's back. <laughs> so, okay. All right, now, I'm just bubbling on. I need to go ahead and get on out of here because now I'm just talking to talk. Um, but just side note, I got this big window here. As um, you can see here on YouTube, but I don't think you can here on Instagram. And... I'm literally the building at the end of my parking lot. So I, and I'm not the front building, but I am the building. Like I see people, if they come in and they don't turn right, I'm seeing everybody goes past. And I see everybody that comes into this parking lot and go into one of these three buildings. So I'll be sitting up here sometimes and just looking out there. Oh, mm -hmm. oh so they going to church today. Mm hmm. I said, their church is let up. Mm, okay, okay. Oh, so y'all going to be just partying. Y'all going to be all up in people's faces in the middle of this quarantine. When it was, you know. Oh, it's like, oh, I see my neighbor that came back. Oh, he got his daughter this weekend. Okay, oh, that's so cute. Oh, look at him being a good daddy. You know, that's a turn on for us ladies. It really is. To see a man be a man. You know what I'm saying? You know, he must have felt better because I think he, he got in an accident 
and hurt his arm. I don't know because I didn't ask. Okay, I didn't ask him. But I think he got hurt and then he, you know, he used to drive another car. Now he got this Lexus. Like he must be doing pretty good. Mm. Love to see a black man doing well. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I'll be looking out this window, just sipping my coffee. Sometimes when I'm med- when not meditating, but praying and just thinking and spend, spending some time, which I didn't do today, which I probably need to do, just sitting out here like, mm. And mind you, I don't know the names of none of these people. I just know. Uh, mm. Okay, H12. So they, I haven't seen them leave out lately. That car has been parked. They must have went out of town. Mm-hmm. Child. I'm like Miss Benita from um, In Living Color. If you don't know who I'm talking about, y'all know. He said, oh, it's like, mm-hmm. Child. Mm-hmm. Just looking out the window. You know, but I ain't talking to none of the people. And I don't know their names. Ah, so another thing I know. I'm nosy. I'm, sometimes I just like... I want to know just because I'm nosy. Not, I, it is not going to make any difference in my day that I know of, but I will be nosy. And I will tell people, like, I, hey, I just, I'm just being nosy, but did I just see? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, All right now, I'm just mumbling on. Catch me on Facebook on According to a Car in a few minutes where I'm going to continue this conversation. I'll be trying to recap, but I'm just going to continue this conversation. I'm just going to ramble on. And then you also get the conversation of uh, my driving in Atlanta. Yeah, and, you know, so some crazy stuff be happening. You know, people be coming from the third lane over the third, the middle lane, and coming all the way over to get off on the exit. Barely. They're good. Most of them don't get in an accident, but that's still crazy to me. Or you have the um, bums. There's a difference to me. There's a difference between a bum and a homeless person or an unhomed person. Okay. A bum is someone that's standing in the street and is always bumming a dollar or some change or whatever, some spare change. That's the difference. And we got some bold ass ones in Atlanta. They be standing in the middle of the street trying to stop traffic. Don't play with me. I'm not going to hit them, but I will make them think I would. Okay? Don't let a purge come out because I'm knocking over all them. Uh, be in the middle of the street if you want to. Boop, boop, boop. I'll, I'll give myself points for every bum that's out there bumming a dollar. In the, in the middle of the street, like, I wish you I wish you would. Oh, they lucky that there's laws that will keep me from knocking them or running them over. I'm just saying, that's the only thing that's keeping me is the laws. And I don't, I might, I might not be a supermodel, but I am too pretty for jail. I've been behind bars once. Okay. I don't want to ever do it again. Okay ever and they were nice i wasn't treated like shit at all either i don't think so i didn't feel like they treated me like shit but i i didn't like it i don't like being confined i'm not claustrophobic but i don't like not being able to willfully come and go as i please yeah. anyway let me get on out of here now y'all remember love yourself Love your neighbor and stay authentic and have a good Monday. Okay, don't have to be bad. You set your day. Okay, and if you don't know what I mean, go back to last week, uh, Tuesday, where I talk about setting your day. All right? Y'all have a good one.